What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. And if I appear overly smiley, that is because I am sitting on one of the fastest production cars in the world. This is the Pagani Huayra. Meet the Pagani Huayra. Succeeding the company's previous offering, the Zonda, the Huayra, named after Huayra Tata, South American wind god, aims to blow you over when it goes on sale in 2013 for a cool 1.1 million. We have the very distinct pleasure of sitting with the namesake of the Pagani Huayra. Uh, we have Mr. Pagani here with us. He's going to be fortunate enough to answer a few questions. First, thank you for taking the time to speak with us. I, I appreciate it. Niente, un grande piacere anche per me presentarvi quello che è il nostro lavoro oggi nel Salone di Ginevra. Il progetto della Guaira è iniziato sette anni fa. Ci siamo concentrati nel creare una, un oggetto completamente diverso. Abbiamo cercato di mettere insieme arte e tecnologia secondo quello che è il motto della nostra compagnia. Giving this beast its zoom is a mid-mounted AMG-built 158 6.0-liter engine that produces over 700 horsepower and 740 foot-pounds of torque. Your new car is going to get you to 60 miles in a brisk 3.3 seconds. Think about that. This is 3.3 seconds. And you're at 60 miles per hour. Il motore è veramente molto bello, molto leggero. Pensate che questo motore pesa il, il, comple, il motore completo quanto pesa il cambio della Bugatti Veyron. Perciò è veramente un cambio, una macchina, un cambio, motore straordinario per una macchina che è molto, molto leggera e pesa solo 1350 kg. Thanks to a strategic partnership with tire manufacturer Pirelli, the Huayra can withstand 1.5 g's of lateral acceleration and speeds up to 230 miles per hour. Yikes. Aside from its killer looks, the Huayra is unlike any other sports car on the road. It forgoes a traditional dual-clutch gearbox, instead opting for a 7-speed sequential gearbox and a dual-disc clutch. Why did Pagani do this? The choice to not use a dual-clutch in oil bath was because it would lead to an increase in weight over 154 pounds, negating the advantage of the ability of such transmissions to change gear fasteners. The Huayra uses carbon fiber throughout, actually called carbo-titanium, which adds to its incredibly light 3,000-pound body. Molto interessante, questo è il 12 cilindri con menor emissione di CO2 e, e, e minor consumo di tutti i 12 cilindri al mondo. Questo è merito di un lavoro straordinario che ha fatto la Mercedes per rendere questo, questa vettura conforme alle normative più severe della California. There are some things you never forget. Sitting in the Huayra, even if only for a few minutes, is definitely one of them. Now I just need to win the lottery. So what do you guys think? If money wasn't an option, would the Huayra be number one supercar on your list? Leave your comments down below. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you guys in the next video.